I think Colombia, if uh, Timochenko, the little far, would have the Nobel Prize, would be very unpopular. I would guess, especially of the, after the vote, after the no vote, that show a rejection against FARC. And now we need to see how the no vote is going to react to this, this international pressure, because the way it will be read in Colombia is that it's international pressure to advance in the peace process. Well, the, the person leading the campaign to vote no was Alvaro Uribe, the, 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 the former president, and, and many, including you, I think, a few days ago, were saying that the rejection of this plebiscite was actually a vote against uh, President Juan Manuel Santos. Yes, absolutely. And, and now the question is, I will say, just how much the international pressure is going to affect the peace process. Because before, the, the people that were uh, hoping for the yes vote were saying, look, all the international community is with us. But the Colombian people didn't care that the international community was in favor of the peace process and they vote no. But, but, but that vote no doesn't necessarily mean there'll be a return to conflict, does it? Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think it's very important to have this clear. At the moment, what we have in Colombia is a political crisis and not a military crisis. There's still the ceasefire in place. There is the political... So we have FARC on one side and then you have all the political parties trying to sort out their dispute and FARC is just waiting to see what is coming back to them. Uh, and what changes has Alvaro Uribe exacted or, or, or demanded to, to this agreement? There, there are quite a few and also very important ones. So, for example, he he's questioning that FARC will have uh, the possibility to participate in politics with five seats each in, a, in each chamber of the Congress for two consecutive terms, even if they don't get the votes. Also, that the FARC leaders are not going to pay any prison sentences for the crimes if they confess under the agreement. And, uh, and there is also loads to do with land reform and also with the special tribunal that is going to judge not only FARC, but every factor of the war in Colombia or every, every part of the war in Colombia. Uh, and strangely, Hernando, I mean, this was signed off, wasn't it, by Timochenko and Juan Manuel Santos. Uh, and the plebiscite, the referendum, isn't legally binding. Yes, isn't legally binding, but pretty much as it was with the Brexit. But it's almost impossible to go ahead after you have a general vote rejecting that referendum. It's very difficult for the, for the President Santos just to carry on. Uh, but that's what FARC wants at the moment.